Hey guys, I want to do another one of these um, <clears throat> points of interest, high handicap games, live six stones. Just thinking that it's going to help someone. So this will be like our fourth live one. Let's see how it goes. And my job is to play no com nothing complex just very straightforward the next big spot this joseki took me a long time to get a grasp on until i caught something basic about it so let's imagine i fix this cut on the side which happens to be the top what do i have uh access to the top um a base in one move okay let's imagine i fix the center what do i have well, I'm leaving the cut, so let's assume Atari. I Atari back. All of a sudden, I have something of a base on top. The point is, I'm going to be getting access and a, and a base-like thing on top regardless. So we play this link. Now, this is just Jaseki. I it is complex, which is something we're supposed to be staying away from, but Jaseki's Jaseki. Do we play Ko or not? As always, we have to ask who is risking what. Well, I have a thick center group. If he wins the Ko, I'm left with a thick center group. Pretty much nothing I'm risking. If we play Ko and he loses, his corner's in jeopardy. So in other words, we play Ko. Okay. Uh, that was nice. Uh, I feel like I just gained something serious. He played, how big was that move? Uh, did he gain a point? I don't know. It's either one or zero or some very small number. So I'm, I don't feel a need to go play a, a whole value move. If I can play something locally beneficial, because it's already a gain. He got near nothing. I got something significant. So that whole thing is so good for us. You got so little for how many moves, and we get something significant and sent it for free. My phone dingled. Let me see if it's something important. No. Okay, where to? We have to double check. Is this white group happy enough for now? Yeah, we're out of shape. I could play here, and oh, I almost have two eyes. No, too small. Still go to the next spot, and you know my pattern. Play on top, upper left, play on bottom, upper left, go do some 3-3. Three, three. So we'll just do that pattern. Uh, settle. We'll go the easy way. We all know the Joseki. He should not be filling this in, using up his liberties. Go take. In regards to White's health, his move means nothing. Is his turn? Well, first of all, it's in Gote. And he already has a relationship with his Q10 stone. So I'm not seeing the great benefit of the turn. So I settled one. Settle the next. Now I'll go 3-3 three, three, like I said I would.
Start fiddling. We don't play the next one unless his turn is big, which it is, or our hane is big, which it is. Okay. Settled in sente. Where to next? Well, we could go to the next corner. But he's got some pretty big walls. Let's try to get a handle on what he's doing. This whole center, pardon me. Is he about to play a move there, making it hard for me to come in? I don't see it. It's extremely vague. I'm going to go to the next area. How about I come as close as I can to the really big area, which would be this move. You see the cursor. Let's play here. It's a big area. It's getting as close as I can to his major area in a safe move. I don't know. Probably bad. Let's try it. Okay. I have two options. I can come out where it's very safe or come under for life. And that's a big area. I'm going to come under, but I'm going to do contact making the statement I'm just going to I'm going to live rather than walk in. Let's do a living move. Keep coming. This is the trick. Keep coming. I'm hoping I'm going to live here. Two ways to go. We usually play here, which is to touch our stones, make them work together. But this Atari is breaking out into his huge area. I'm going to play there right away. Then I'll come back. I don't like his cut there. I don't need to keep coming, but I would like to. It secures my life. And see how I have access into his corner now? So when I fix, I can now Atari kill stuff. Okay, I'm alive. Incente. Fantastic. So, check out the points of interest. I'm weak right here. Well, I'm alive already. But that doesn't bother me. Is the black move meaningful? Tiny little area? No. Well, he can also come across the top in uh, not that I have to respond, but if I want any access to the center, I'm going to respond. So he can draw a line here. That's a pretty big line. So me stopping that direct line could have a lot of meaning. I'm breaking into his main area. I don't see anything bigger. Next point of interest would be I could start using my uh, Aji stone. I could start using um, this gap. So, for instance, a white move here threatens to connect under. But this is the most straightforward way in. I'm going to Hane. I assume I can't keep a connection. So, I, what it is, I'm putting, I'm creating Aji in his area. That's what I'm doing. He doesn't cut. I am happy to save that. That was a nice break in. Keep it coming. Can I honey? Is it useful? Not seeing it. A little tempted to play something there. If I just cut. You're going to do. If he drops down, I get a sente move. Well, it's free, Aji. Let's just do it. I can't think of anything obvious, so let's just cut and then get our sente. Okay. All we did was put some, uh, some Aji stones in. That's it. So we plug in our imagination. What do they do for us? Well, I'm seeing his group here as being a bit awkward. 
all of a sudden, remember that spot I said we had where it threatens to connect under? That's interesting. That wasn't interesting a minute ago. But now his group looks like it's getting surrounded. Okay. So this is a big question. This is all around one done. I'm trying to keep it. We've seen some complex stuff, and I'm sorry about that. But it's just basic Giuseppe, so I don't know what else. But it's just doing it. <clears throat> so it's like, you know, how do these Dawn players, oh, the look, they're using their Aji so what, magically or something. Well, that's Sente. I've got three Aji stones in his area, all for free. And there's really nothing else to do anyway in the area. But it's been reducing and creating Aji. So what next? Am I about to kill something? No. I'd like to survive in this area. Have I got anything I can help with? Something to help me? Well, my original Aji stone suggests here, playing to the outside, Threatening the Aji Stone. I don't know. We'll just start there. I have no idea, right? I don't know. Well, what then? If I touch, I'm afraid it's going to break right through. I'm just going to jump. I could die here. Am I just trying for two? Is this too straightforward? Am I simply putting down a dead stone because he caps? And it's over. Possibly. If so, I should jump a little further. Make it harder for him to surround. And if so, maybe even further. So which of the three? I've gotten so much profit. I'm thinking of playing the safest move. Just so here's the discernment, right? He's seeming to be awfully thick here, very alive on both sides. I'm not saying, oh, I'll just attack something. No, well, I'll just live here. Really? It's an awful lot of black stones. So I'm going to play the lightest one. Honey, using the stones. Uh, I enjoy this again. Oh my goodness. I he got I feel like I didn't do it. He got forced down to a tiny little area. I'm gonna keep going here. This has been wonderful. Gosh. I don't care about the Aji stones. They're they're the Aji stones for goodness sakes. I'm gonna hana here. It bothers us too, helps my two. It might get cut and die, but I'm only interested in my main group, and anything is helpful. Okay. I can extend or connect. Somehow connection makes me feel solid and wonderful. I'm just going to do it. So the next obvious step, continue out, because we still don't have any eyes. We are getting awfully healthy though just by itself right big how many one two three four, six with the turn so we're strong enough we can start thinking about other things for instance what about the honey he ignores i cut he's about to die this is a thick area i like this okay all for free that last move really takes me over the edge like he can't bother me anymore that's my feeling i'm gonna leave the group alone should i leave the group alone how am i supposed to know that well get to professional night on then you'll know great never gonna happen so what do you do when you don't know you look at the group what's my discernment 15Q discerns one thing. 5Q discerns something different. Professional line on. I mean, it's all, you don't worry about 
playing right, worry about being responsible. If white plays here, that group is absolutely rock solid, and I like that. Is it already near rock solid? I'm thinking, yeah. So I'm going to go somewhere else. What's my confidence level? 80%? 70? 80? 90? No. If I would put a white stone there, I would be 95 to 100% confident. Without it, 80, 90, 80, 75, somewhere in there. Pretty confident. Okay. Where to next? I'm going to leave it. Where to? Well, this whole upper left is big old nasty stuff. So I'm going to go in there. We want something that's safe and says I want the corner. That to me suggests this move, this move. This con this is me contacting a strong stone. That's a well-known thing to do. But this move suggests I'm going next into the 3-3 easily and powerfully. So these two moves look pretty reasonable. I'm going to go for the one that's got most space. I don't know. They're both reasonable. I'm just going to go here. Then I have a Sente. And then I will. So I wanted to make sure he didn't get all of this. He got the corner. That was his right. I couldn't live in there. He's a nasty big monster in the corner. Give it to him. Okay. Have I, I, I don't care about the two. They're not going to hurt anybody. They're not helping anybody. They're not going to take a bunch of points. They have reduced Black's corner. They've done their job. So we have to reassess. Do I think Black's going to get a big area here? Nah. I'll connect home. I'll run away. I'll come under. No, I don't think that's big anymore. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Same thing. Done. He's reduced. I don't care about the two. Same thing. They've done their job. What's next? Hey, look at me building a big top area. I certainly don't care about the two. But now I realize I can use them well. I want to save, make sure I'm not cut here. So this way. Sure. Sure. Now I care about the two. If he captures the two, he gets the whole thing. So the simple step, little bit dangerous. This step is safer. Can't He can't cut me. This one, he can. How will he cut me? White, black white cut it's a ladder can't cut me want to make sure i'm settled here let's okay i'm thickening up here total success you get almost nothing yeah great success great where to well i do have this cut which doesn't work but when he starts playing black stones, I have to worry about this left side group. So I would like, when I at the right time, to do something about that. Well, it's the last big area. I'm doing this huge center. So as I grow the center, I take care of the weakness. Well, that's nice. I guess just the most obvious just to run out. And how about the honey? I'm, I don't know. It really worries me right now. So I'm going to go this way. Now I can jump. I'll go ahead and fix in any way I seem fit. And I have a big center. Very nice. 
he's about to cut me. Do I care? Uh, I guess this part of the group is cut right there. That could be something. And I ha I'm lacking in this perimeter. I'm just going to come out, which helps the whole thing. Live. Don't get cut. Don't get cut. I have to make sure I'm alive. Black, white, black, white. I get an eye right there. So I'm alive. Is this Sente? Yeah. Let's just make him smaller in Sente. I guess I didn't do that very well. He could have, he got some points. At least I reduced a little bit in Sente. Uh, I have a nice move here. It's not bad though. I don't mind coming up to secure it. What's the next biggest area? So just end game now. And I'm going to do a quick count. Two, four, six, almost eight. I won't count that one. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 30, 32, 4, 3, 6, 8, 8, 40, 42, 4, 6, 8, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 62, 4, 6, 8, almost 70. I'm putting two fingers down because if I don't, I'll forget it's 70. Two fingers is 20 and 70. And I know it's not 20. Okay. 70. Black has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 18, 20, 2, 24, 6, 28, 30, 32, 40, 68, call it 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. 52, 4, 6. I'm getting up to 60. Did I miss something? 2, 4, 6, 8. Call the whole thing 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, 4, 6, 8, 42, 4, 6, 4, 8, 52, 4, 56, 62, 4, 6, 8. So it's near even, <clears throat> and in handicap games, if it's near even, it's a win. Because in the opening, he didn't get all he could. We gained. In the middle game, he didn't get all he could. We gained. In the end game, he won't get all he can. We'll gain. And it's already even. Any gain, we're ahead. So it's just we can declare victory. And uh, we've seen everything we want to see here. End games starts to get technical, and that's not what this is about. So we'll stop there, hoping it made sense. And we'll see you next time.